Next, I would like to introduce my lovely brother, Raj Patel. He is 15 years old and he attends Malden High School. He likes to watch basketball and football in his free time. Please give a round of applause for Raj Patel. Thank you, Priya, for giving a wonderful speech on debate and introducing me. Today, I'll be talking about public speaking. The three points that I'll be addressing today are impact of public speaking, why I like public speaking, and how public speaking helped me in the future. What do you do when a teacher rolls your eyes at you? You smile at teacher. <laughs> no, you pick them up and you roll them back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay cool. A person's brain starts the second you are born, but it stops the minute you get up to speak. I learned this when I was a child. When I was small, I really did not talk in, like talking in front of new people, much less a crowd. Even in presentations, I would be scared and I would be afraid of my own classmates that I'd known for months and months and maybe even years. I would feel like they would point out a mistake and afterwards they would tease me about it. After public speaking, however, this changed. I really didn't care if, they, if I made a mistake, because if they pointed it out, I would be able to learn from my mistakes and not make that mistake again. Before public speaking, this would be a third person view of myself. My hands would be, would be behind my back and I would be staring at the ground. I would also be staring at the board, which would have my presentation on it. I use this as my advantage. I would use the presentation board to avoid eye contact with the audience and I would use it to read off of my, uh, read it off. This was very bad because I was not making any progress with eye contact and I was not memorizing my presentation like I was supposed to. My, the audience also used this as an advantage because I would not be very loud and I would be mumbling, so they would not hear what I was saying, and with the board, they could easily guess what I was trying to say. This leads to my second topic on why I like public speaking. I like public speaking because of a great teacher, Mr. Paresh. Aww. Mr. Paresh made um, learning very fun. He made it so it would he made it seem like it was an important thing, much more, much more than just something that we would do every day and we forget. We shared many countless memories of pub in public speaking, from funny stories to funny two minute speeches to funny jokes, and even funny people. Like one time, someone was speaking, and in that time, Mr. Parish had to remind him for the umpteenth time to um, use a starter as the young gentleman asked. And then he said, as the young gentleman asked, wait, what did he ask again? We burst into peals of laughter. <laughs> we had many fun memories like these. And one of my favorite things about public speaking were actually the two minute speeches. The two minute speeches we learned consisted of five things. What, where, when, and who, and how. Yeah. With at least three of these questions, you could, con you could conduct a very nice two-minute speech. The funny thing about two-minute speeches were actually conducting them. We would have only five minutes to conduct our speech, and these five minutes were when we were walking up to the stage. We would laugh because we would, the person who is um, giving the other person a speech would make a funny topic and try to make it hard. And this person would frantically try to think, what am I going to talk about? So these were very fun things. This leads to my next point on how public speaking helped me in the future. Public speaking will help me a lot in the future. For one, one of the things that will help me was, like I told you, presentations. I was really not good with presentations, but after, I was able to learn and improve every time. One of the, th one of the things that I really wanted to do was a graduation speech. Every single time, I would thought that graduation speeches were cool, and whenever I looked at someone, I would feel like, wow, I really want to do that once in my life. But I knew that I would never be able to do one, because at that point, I would know that I will be thinking, oh no, what am I going to get myself into? But now, with all these public speaking skills, I can fulfill my dream and make a public speaking speech. Another thing that might help me is, in the future is a job. If I can become a lawyer, I can get some convincing skills and learn maybe laws, and I can be a lawyer. Or if I can learn debate, I can be also be a politician, because I am not scared of talking in front of new people, and I'm, my voice is loud now. Who would have guessed? 
Today, I talk about public speaking. The three points that I've talked about were impact of public speaking, why I like public speaking, and how public speaking helped me in the future. I chose this topic because public speaking was my greatest accomplishment in my life. I really like public speaking, and I recommend everyone to take at least one public speaking course or at least debate course. Thank you for listening to my speech. Cool. Awesome.